Yo, I really do not like this overlay. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Oh, uh, I'm not a fan. I mean, it's only here temporarily? Until uh, we catch up to the PC. But I guess it's going to be here post-game. Do I want to make a... Ugh, I don't. I don't. Who are we on? I guess we're doing the mages now? Fair enough. Have we seen all of the fires? Probably not. Yo. Prince, I hear that a hero challenged you to a duel. That's right. I'm on my way to beat him right now. The forest of the dead, right? I will open the gate right now. Hmm. I can't wait to see who this hero is. It's the Prism Rangers again. Forest of the dead, ghostly whisper. Bruh, why you no voice? <laughs> hey Gordon, could that challenge have been written by Curtis? Curtis, now that you mention it, you might be right. Who's this Curtis? Curtis, the other defender of Earth. The other defender of Earth? There's more than one of them? No, the true defender of Earth is Gordon. That ain't how Curtis tell it. Curtis calls himself the Defender of Earth and tries to steal work from under us. But you, I, I, I want to say that the Defender of Earth would be like you're protecting the planet. How does he steal saving the world out from under you? But as much as I hate to admit it, he has managed to save the Earth on a few occasions. Agreed. That's exactly what I was talking about. That's why you could say that there are two defenders of Earth right now. Hmm, sounds complicated. It worked out fine in the end. I don't know why I read that like that. Uh, since one has become the slayer of the netherworld. Worked out fine. This is not fine. I work for the Earth, not the netherworld. I mean, you shouldn't have lost then, the Overlord. I finally found you. Today, I'll fulfill my sworn duty. But first, I'll test your strength. I'm counting on you, my friends. Hmm, I sense something nearby. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Unknown by... Oh, biorhythms. I was about to say something else. Unknown biorhythms detected. Danger, danger, danger. Well, at this point, I don't think it's Curtis. Because he said, I counting on you my friends and then there are a bunch of demons I don't know why Curtis would be friends with demons that don't make no sense to me all right fry who is named that way because she's the fire mage wait a minute uh, all of her magic is level one no ah, it's so bad whatever we going down the line uh, fire one Yeah, that's a generic-ass fire spell, I guess. Okay. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Even without their animations, it's gonna take millennia. Ugh. Alright. Megafire. Oh. Megafire's level 2 now. Or level 1. Wait, what? Oh. Huh. Does leveling one fire level all of them for your mages? That's crazy if that's how it works. Especially, or I guess it would be for the specific mages with the element tied to them. Mega fire. Okay, that, that's a bigger fire spell. Cool. <laughs> Meh. Meh. I mean, what am I expecting? It's fire spells. Come on, let's go. Giga fire. What was it? Oh, something else used that like exact same explosion animation that we saw. It had to have been one of the characters we were showcasing. I think it might have been... Who was it? Was it Jennifer? Was it Madeiras? It, no, it might have been Hogmiser. I think Hogmiser like has an ability that just has that exact same explosion. That was Giga, right? Omega Fire. 
and then you see the Disgaea version of Ifrit, but he's got a sensor bar over his eyes, and that sensor bar says Omega Fire. Eh. Eh. I mean, I, I guess it's cool. Like, yeah, I played tons of old school RPGs, so just putting a PNG up with some uh, dramatic effects behind it, that's A-OK -okay with me. Terrifier. Ooh. A fancy zoom out. And a dragon disintegrates the platform. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's pretty weak. I think that's pretty weak for a Terra spell. I'm not gonna pretend. Let's get it again. Let's try it one more time. I need to see this bad boy one more. Alright. So we get a dramatic zoom out. We get a PNG of a dragon head. He does a charge up in a different frame. And then we flash back here. It doesn't look to me like the dragon head position change. Like, when you first see it, and then after the blast is supposedly fired, it looks to be in the same position. But I want to see it one last time. And we ain't got nothing else to show anyway. So one more time. Let's look at the position. I want to see the horn. Okay, the horn is bent forward. So he does the charge up, and then we go back to here. The horn is still bent forward. Okay. So it's not a different look. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not a fan of Terrifier. I'm not a fan of most of the fire. Probably because a lot of the uh, attacks and abilities and effects that every single character has has like a fiery style explosion accompanying it and so yeah fire mage your ability or rather your animations are kind of undercut by the fact that if anybody has an explosion ability for any reason like say laharl has blazing knuckle right yeah or Overlord's Wrath, any fire ability of any kind, like you just given up animations for. So, yeah. Rising Fear. Overlord, prepare yourself. Huh. Yeah, see, it couldn't have been Curtis. Curtis wouldn't employ demons. Curtis? Curtis? Take this! Look out, Captain! Thursday! You're not Curtis. Who are you? Are you aware of who you're dealing with? I am Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth! Wait, Gordon! What? The Defender of Earth? What would the Defender of Earth be doing here in the company of the Overlord? Oh, well, it's a complex situation. He's my vassal! He lost to me in battle, so I made him my slave! <laughs> oh, Laharl, you're the best. His new name is Slayer of the Netherworld. What was that? The Defender of Earth is now the Overlord's vassal? I mean, yeah. S sir? How shameful! How Disgraceful! The Defender of Earth has sunk so low! Hey! You haven't heard the whole story! Yo, you wanna call it all day? How about you come 1v1 Laharl? See how it turns out. Besides, you haven't even introduced yourself yet! Me? I'm Don Joaquin, the original Defender of Earth! Don Joaquin. Hmm. The Original Defender of Earth? That old man? Sounds fishy to me. I mean, he's in the netherworld. He can teleport around. He came in transparent. Uh, yeah, he's a ghost, obviously. And he employs demons now, which is really weird. No, it may be true. My father used to tell me about him. Hundreds of years ago, the first Defender of Earth left for the Netherworld to vanquish the Overlord, and never returned. Hundreds of years ago? Jesus. But how 
is he still alive? Compared to the typical human lifespan, he should have passed away a long time ago. That's probably his soul. He probably couldn't rest in peace until he defeated the Overlord, so his soul remained behind. Why? There's only one thing. You should have said a reason. There's only one reason. It's his duty as a hero. Yeah, say reason would have worked better. He's starting to sound like you, Prince. I'm so touched. The idea of him still struggling to fulfill his duty, transcending time, a true defender of Earth. One sec. Okay. I'm proud to follow in his footsteps. He ain't proud to have you following him. But I don't think an old man like that could defeat the prince even in a thousand years. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Well, all right. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I see your point. But we have to help him. We can't just leave him like this. Ah, ah just turn. Microphone out of place. Hey, Lovefree, you're not trying to force your beliefs on me again, are you? <laughs> Got her. Bingo. Oh. Next time we run into him, let's lose on purpose. Yeah, not happening. And it's practically impossible. Like, everybody I have should be stronger than him to the point that he wouldn't be doing damage. We can test it, but still. You mean Celestia. Don't be ridiculous. I have a duty to fulfill, too. I can't lose on purpose. Why? Is that a big deal? Are you that selfish that you can't even save a poor hero's soul? Yes. Yes, I am. Shut up. This is between me and him, so stay out of it. We're going in after him. All right, this was a lead into a stage. God, these are some whiplash. These have some whiplash to them. Okay, there are guys hiding behind trees, which is annoying. Uh, Icky or swoosh, 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 wind. We got to get closer. Swoosh, wind, regular wind. Might be hidden by a tree. Okay, a little bit obscured, but yeah, it's just win, bro. What you want? What you want? Like, ah, I'm trying to think. Wind depictions in video games, typically green. I want to say nine times out of ten, yeah, they're green. But then there's the chances that they are blue, and then a one percent chance that they're just a completely different random color. Uh, mega wind, right? It's just bigger win. What you want? What you want? Yeah. Omega wind? No, Giga wind. Giga before Omega. Giga wind. Okay, so it's just a. Oh, and it lifts them up, and then they drop to the ground. Okay, that's a little bit extra, but. Otherwise, you know, it's just a big wind with some cutters going around it. Or some scythe, wind scythes. There we go. Omega wind. What you got for me? Oh, right. That was this thing. Which is like the tiger Pokemon. No, wait, not tiger. Lion Pokemon thing. They had to see like five times to understand what was going on. Terra Wind. What you got? What PNG we got now? Ooh. Why are they creepy pastas about that guy? Crazy. Gotta see that one again. So, launch them up into the air with the wind, and then in the clouds, it's just this Mothman demon thing. 
Ah, uh, what's the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card archetype? Earthbound Immortals, I think. Yeah, we just got this Earthbound dude up there. Who... I need to use a 1 last time. Then we'll use Omega Wind just so I can try to see what the heck that thing is. Alright, so the wind comes up from beneath, launches you into the air. And then he just... Okay. He pulses. And then another wind tornado hits the... Uh, enemy and then they drop to the ground all right all right you know what eh mostly i like the uh kind of alien thing up in the clouds yeah i think it's some guy riding the back of the uh lion wielding twin blades or something anyway that's Swoosh, aka Wind Mage. Next is Icky. Why? Or Icky? I'm gonna go Ick. Ick. Why Icky? Because I was trying to think of something with ice. I would have called her Ice, but Fry has three letters in it, and I didn't want them all to have three letters. So, yeah. No, wait, actually, I wouldn't have mind giving them all three letters. I just couldn't think of a three letter synonym for Wind. That's on me. He did not say that. I ain't here blipping there as many times as you listed it. Huh? What's wrong, Thursday? What you mean? He got concussed. Oh, no. Oh, no. From that old man's attack has short-circuited him. Yo, why well, we gotta keep calling him old man? Call him Juan. Can you repair him, Jennifer? She should be able to. She made this thing when she was five. Even though I built Thursday when I was five, I can't fix him without the proper equipment. Okay, fair enough. Fair point. Me, me, blip. Oh, the damage to the memory circuit is extensive. If Thursday overheats, then his entire memory will be lost. Hmm. That leaves me no choice. Thursday, you're going to have to sit on the sidelines for now. Beep, blip, beep. Whoa, wait, Thursday can fight. For what purpose? We don't need you to fight. I won't allow it. We can't afford to lose you. Gordon's right. You heard what I said, didn't you? Your memory could be lost. If that happens, you'll forget about Gordon and I and all the wonderful memories that we've shared together. I would say, why don't you just back up his memory on something else? But no proper uh, hardware to do that with. Thursday. Anyway. Bruh. Aren't these like your commanding officers wouldn't you follow any order Jennifer gave you or something Thursday even though Thursday robot Gordon and Jennifer call Thursday friend Thursday happy Thursday want to show gratitude Thursday may lose memory if participation is resumed lose memory very sad but being useless even more sad that is why Thursday fight alongside you until very end. Thursday. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. What's wrong? You gotta go? No, he doesn't. He's been touched by Mr. Thursday's heart. Heart? Robots have hearts? Wait a minute. You gotta go. Yo, in the original Japanese version, does Lahara say, do you gotta take a dump or something? Is that what it is? What are you saying? Thursday's words are the very heart of a defender of Earth. Uh... What? What? Look, I was gonna mock this situation later, but let's mock it now. Bro, you just gotta sit out of the fight until we can get back and get you fixed. Your resolve to continue to fight is stupid. At least to me. Like, if you injured and you just gotta sit out one fight, look, if it's the final, final boss and you need to be there, fine. 
step up, go through the pain, and lose your memory. But this ain't it. This ain't it. This is a 1v1 with Lahal, the Overlord, and the previous Defender of Earth. You do not need to participate at all. It doesn't matter if he's human or robot. He has the same spirit burning deep inside of him. I don't know about that one. Thursday. Thursday. Yes, Captain Gordon. Your noble spirit has touched my heart. No matter what the outcome, I will be proud to fight beside you. Now join us Thursday. Me, me. Thank you, Captain. Thursday, so glad to have met you. And after that very touching and heartwarming moment, we get into Icky. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Jesus, map. What is this? Recovery, defense, no lifting. Ugh. Let's just teleport all the way back here and start. Ice! Ice, baby! Ugh. It's debatably one of the worst ice I've ever seen in a video game. Let's do it again. We got a lot of enemies, so we can see these multiple times. Yeah. It's this, like, blue? With a very... It's blue with like a mist cloud and then a very, very, very faint, like, um, I don't know, is it like an ice effect? I guess? Mega ice. Okay, see, that's more in line with what I expect when you say ice. A big, dumb, uh, triangular shape that's blue. That makes more sense to me. Do it again. I like it. Do it again. Boom! Crystals. Ice crystals. That's understandable to me. Okay. Giga ice. Once again, just a big old dumb blue crystal. That represents ice. I'm not saying it's particularly good. Just that, you know, that represents ice. And it's understandable. That's video game ice for you. In the same way that green is video game wind just blue crystals video game ice all right omega ice girl omega ice chan kawaii and then another blue crystal <laughs> ah it doesn't get no better it doesn't get repetitious either just seeing tons of blue crystals one more time omega ice chan I like her. I like her. It's a damn shame that this guy never does or did anything with uh, the characters in these PNGs and stuff. I would have loved to recruit that girl. Anyway, Terra Ice. The ultimate ice ability. How many crystals you got. A lot of them. Okay, a lot of information there. Uh, well, we got either the Disgaea version of Shiva in that, or the Disgaea version of, like, the Ice Wolf. Fenrir? Is, is Fenrir an Ice Wolf? Let's try this again. Giant Ice Crystal. She's encased in it. It breaks away. What is she looking like? It looks like she's in a bikini with ice gauntlets with some sort of tear on her head and then a cold wind blows and the enemy is frozen to death I guess maybe that's how that looks huh I don't know about that one I don't know that I like this one one more I don't know that I like this one Ugh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. I'm not a fan. You would think just because there was a waifu in it, I'd be all over it, but... Uh-uh. Uh, the superior wind waifu. Bam. Yep. 
Yep, that should have just just switch them around. That's the Omega, and then that's the Terra. Just swap them. Swap them. We good. A hero's tomb? Is this about to be the boss? Uh, Kate Sith. Oh wait, never mind. I named her Felicia, for obvious reasons, because the blue cat girl. Although Felicia, blue hair, yes, but she wears white, not blue. Hmm. My bad. My B. All right. If this is the old man, we might just use Laharl and go do the 1v1. If it isn't him, oh well. Force it to that. Hero's Tomb. I've been waiting for you, Overlord. Countless years have passed since I left my home. Earth so far away. How I've dreamt of this day. Now, we shall settle this at last. That we will. King Laharl runs from no one. Come on. Overlord, King, you know, it's just interchangeable. Wait, Laharl, you're not going to actually fight him, are you? Juan, like, you hear the man, right? He wants to fight. Why not? He challenged me, didn't he? Yeah. Laharl, you're... Juan, just let him do things his way. My friends, aid me in battle! Wait, <laughs> what? Yo, you can't get the assist? I was down for the 1v1. He's not alone? Zombies? More zombies, huh? What do you think of this? I've made a few friends over the years. Yo, how you gonna give Gordon crap? Why well, as Gordon serves the Overlord? You're just befriending demons. Here I come, Overlord! Now is the moment that I fulfill my duty! Very well! On guard, old hero! Alright, where is he? Don Joaquin. Alright, you back there? Enemy boost times six. I'm gonna just, you know, have Lahal run through this. I know, it's not gonna be a showcase, but, I mean, what you want? Counter, thank you. We'll get rid of these guys on this side. Ugh, not having my hyper dimension teleporter. All right, the Yoshitsuna has absurd range, despite being a sword. So that's why I'm not automatically attacking the nearest enemies. <laughs> Yoshitsuna. Ugh, get out of here. Why am I not just showcasing Lahal's abilities? Meh. I guess we could. Though, like, is this the place to do it? I don't think so. Blade Rush. Nothing in there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nope. Nope. I can't do anything. I can't show anything, because nothing's in a radius. Oh, there we go. Overlord's Wrath. He does that DBZ move. The Piccolo does. Summon a bunch of energy blasts. Throw them all in one location. Bam. Not particularly great. Counter. 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 Come on, man. Why you, why you do this to me? Do Blazing Knuckle. Because I'm under the impression it has, like, the animation of the fire ability. Yeah, it does. It has the same stupid fire animation. And therefore, the fire mage has it the worst out of all mages. Meteor impact. Hmm. Sure. Here I come. That's a good one. 
Now that's a good one. If nothing else, you gotta appreciate that it has the laugh in it. Sorry, Donald Kane, you shall have a non-glorious death because you're gonna get countered. can't be serious. It would have been impossible for Laharo to lose. He would have taken no damage even without having no gear and they having times six enemy boost. I know that you have a kind heart inside. Why? You're starting to get annoying. I'm a demon. There was never any kindness in my heart. You were wrong about me. Sorry to disappoint you. I mean, you just said sorry, so there's got to be something in there. It's okay, little girl. Huh? It's all okay. I'm satisfied now. What do you mean? It may be hard for you to understand, but we heroes live a certain way, and we die a certain way too. I was once known as the Defender of Earth, but I grew old, died, and have since existed as a mere soul. So you were conscious that you were a ghost this whole time? I could no longer live as a hero, nor could I die as one. I just wandered the netherworld. How pathetic I felt. But at long last, I was able to fight again as Defender of Earth. I wasn't able to win. But I have no regrets. In fact, I feel as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. It's all thanks to this Kid Overlord because he fought me with all his might. Kid Overlord, Saturday mornings at 8. Now I can finally rest in peace. Thank you. Huh, what kind of hero thanks an Overlord? I was just fulfilling my own duty. Gordon, Thursdays. Hey, hang in there, Thursday. He should be perfectly fine because Thursday did absolutely nothing. Gordon, Jenna, fire. Don't speak, Thursday. You'll waste your energy. So now he's running out of energy? I thought he was in trouble overheating. It is okay, Jennifer. Did Thursday serve his purpose? Thursday! Yes. Of course. Of course you did, Thursday. We were only able to overcome the many obstacles we faced in our adventures because of your support. We three together are the Defenders of Earth. So don't give up, Thursday! Thank goodness. Thank you for all the I was, I wasn't intending to laugh. I was actually intending to do a fake. It's so sad. But, but look at Thursday. <laughs> they did. They just darkened the model. You expected the lights on Thursday to go out? Like you could have just colored those black. But but all they do is darken it. Oh, that's great. That's great. This is hilarious. Thursday. Thursday. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. It's, it's incredibly sad and not funny at all. <laughs> Young Defender of Earth, you have wonderful friends. If I had friends like that, maybe things would have been different. This shall be my final act as Defender of Earth. Some ridiculous Deus Ex Machina BS is about to go down. And no, no, there is no explanation. Beep, 
Beep, bleep, beep. Thursday. Oh, how can this be? His circuit is fixed. Which means... Beep, bleep, beep. Good morning, Captain Gordon. Jennifer. Oh, Thursday! Oh, thank goodness. Thank you so much. How can we repay you? And let's just forget that you're the one who caused us in the first place. No, it was my fault this happened in the first place. I don't need to be thanked. Oh, yo, the man's self-aware. Give him props. Farewell, young defenders of Earth. Remember that spirit inside you. And remember how my spirit repaired a robot. Yo, it ain't a red moon yet. Salute you, Don Joaquin, the original defender of Earth. Maybe there are some decent humans out there after all. It looks like you're getting the hang of being Overlord, aren't you, Prince? Of course! Who do you think I am? I'm the Great King Lahar! King, Overlord, Overlord, King. Um, Laharl, I'm sorry that I jumped to conclusions and said such horrible things. <laughs> Get her. That's right. You said I'm the worst, didn't you? What were you going to say next? The worst what? Uh, well... I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. Me, too? What kind of filthy language was about to escape those love-preaching lips? Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Now calculating. Now calculating. Calculation complete. The answer is... She destroyed the evidence! Oh, Thursday! Oh my god! Are you okay, Thursday? <laughs> Yo, this game. Wicked little angel. Yep, worse than a demon. No! Not! Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Episode 11. Heroes will overlords way the end Okay Where is my preview channel 13 That's Fox, isn't it? Etna and Jennifer's Netherworld Telephone Shopping Today's item the multi-purpose super robot Thursday Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Oh. Tired of after thanks taking sales hassles? Leave it all to Thursday. He'll bring the entire mall right to your doorstep. Thursday's supercomputer makes preparing your taxes a cinch. No more buying tax software every year. What a great way to save. <laughs> You can get your very own Thursday. With a free branch lopper and knife set. All for just $29,990 hell. That's right, just $29,990 hell. Call right now. What are you guys clapping for? Call right now. Oh, you're going to clap for that. I don't get it. You neglected to mention the next episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell them about the sales Thursday. No, well, that was that one. <laughs> Thursday, no. Every time Gordon says Thursday. Ah. Oh.